Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Reacts, episode number 186. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at is a uh, request from one of you. Uh, I have many to still do, but I'm going to get through them, so I appreciate you guys for your patience. Uh, it is the Eurovision Song Contest 2015 opening act. Now, this is a little bit more unique because uh, sometimes the European Broadcasting Union gets grumpy with uh i guess per se stealing their content depending we'll see how it goes so please bear with me if you're seeing this video after other reaction videos like 187 188 you know why so without any further delay subscribe to the channel here we go ladies and gentlemen we have done the math, it's no secret anymore, Austria is in the lead, and it's no longer possible for any other country to catch up. We are ready to announce the winner. The winner is Austria! This is different. 16 minutes, wow. You know, I've never seen the actual introduction to, uh, you know, a Eurovision. So, I I want to watch this all the way through, to be honest. All 16 minutes, which, that's a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, nice. I love me some Top Gear cars. Is that the theme of 2015's Eurovision, Building Bridges? I like it. Oh. There's the audience. I'm not sure sure who she is or he is, so y'all want to let me know.
they doing that? Is that like a stage special effect? It has to be. Is, is the opening act the winner from the previous year? Is that what it is? If that's what it is, that's like super cool. That, I like that a lot. That's really awesome. Very good in the Eurovision movie too. are hanging on wires. This is like the ultimate concert in the world. Oh, 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 flying. I don't know how them shoes stay on. This, this is fun. Cross. Israel. 
Israel brings it. Watch the video of her. Sweden. Molly's from Sweden. Lived there for three years. Love it. Poland. Poland. Latvia. Latvia. Romania. Spain. Hungary. Georgia. I've watched a lot of videos from all these countries because of recommendations by all of you. But my heart hurts. No, Iceland. I fell in love with Iceland because of the, Euro, the Eurovision movie. Husevik. That's okay, though. That's okay. Oh, there's more. I have never seen an introduction to Eurovision. The intro act, nothing, all the countries coming down. This is this is the first time seeing this ever. It's awesome to watch. It's it's a huge spectacular thing. here on stage. And thanks to Conchita, we have the pleasure to welcome them here in Vienna, the 27 contestants of the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2015. Wow, what a crowd here in Vienna. It surely is. Yeah, The love world's it. biggest music show, or as Australians put it, Breakfast TV. By the way, welcome <laughs> our very special anniversary guest in the... Just for the record, just for the record. Um... If Australia is a part of it, in in the time zone, yeah, Australia's out of the. Okay, so I'm gonna have to think. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the United States could be a part of it. You know, one day, maybe, maybe on like you know late at night, but you know, trust trust me. As as a fan of Star Wars and the Mandalorian, the Mandalorian episodes would drop on Friday at like midnight. So at like 1201, you could watch them. Guess who stayed up to watch them? Most people that I know who are excited to watch it. 
the Eurovision Song Contest would be no different. So I think the U.S. needs to be a part of it. We'd have the, the U.S. Song Contest, whittle it down by state, find our representative, and send them to Eurovision. I'm still a big adv- advocate for that. I, I, I want the, the, the U, you know, I want the American song contest. That's supposed to be a thing, but I want the American song contest to be something that our winner goes to Eurovision. You know, that's what I want. I, I think that would be a beautiful thing. So, because we're all one country, that's just my opinion. Trust me. People would stay up late to watch that. Trust, you know, I mean, we, we love music competitions in the United States. Are you kidding me? I mean, look how long American Idol's been on. The Voice, uh, X Factor, uh, America's Got Talent. I mean, we eat up, you know, music contests like they're going out of style. So, and hey, you know, it's like we we would definitely be like one of the, we could be one of the, you know, the we be the big six, you know, part of the big five that uh, they pay to you know, host the competition and stuff like that to help out smaller countries. And, um, you know, we, we could make it the big six. We got money. I mean, not to bring politics into it, but uh, we're wasting money on, on doofy stuff right now. But trust me, we got money to spare. We could, we could throw in for the smaller countries who, who don't have a whole lot of revenue to, you know. Anyway, that's, 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 that's my stance on that. The contest, Hello, Australia. And all of tonight's artists will bring life to our motto, Building Bridges. Bridges between countries, cultures, music styles, and most importantly, between people. And that's exactly what Eurovision fans did over the last couple of weeks on our social media platforms. They have been building bridges all over the world. Uh, I mean, okay, I, I, I can't, I can't watch all of this because it's just, it's, it's too much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's, it's longer than I thought it would be. Um, so I appreciate you guys and, uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. See ya.